Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Gilbert Gottfried here. Okay, I got all the dates. Ready? August 14th, Caroline's on Broadway. That's tomorrow, I guess. August 30th, 31st, and September 1st, the Improv in West Palm Beach, West Palm Beach, Florida. September 5th, 6th, and 7th, the Comedy Club, Webster, New York. That's going to be a fun weekend for you. <laughs> <laughs> September 20th and 21st, Second City Comedy Club, Harrisburg, PA. Again, bring, <laughs> bring your dancing slacks. Do you have a pair of slacks? Dude, <laughs> that is a wonderful city. Yeah, no. That's I, our proud state capital. In I understand. I understand. September how so much to do and see. How of condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to go to Harrisburg, you'll need a full carton yes. of condoms to go for you. It's like Vegas in the in the 50s. It is it is a happening downtown area. It's and you're going like, to be right downtown. You know, you'll, yeah. you'll get to feel like the Rat Pack. Yeah. Like the Sands. Hey. Like put a tux on. And... This sarcasm is not becoming. No, I'm just saying, you know. And we, we do, you're we do underestimating yeah. Harrisburg. You understand, we've been there before. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think but I don't think you saw it properly. Well, are you saying it, you... it got built up in the, since the last It time? has. It's... It really has. Yeah. Well, October 4th, here's a big one. October oh. 4th and 5th, the Comedy Works in Albany, New York. Now, that's going to be. That'll be exciting. You and forgot September Governors. 28th. Governors will be. Go- Levittown, Levittown, New York. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and Entertainment Weekly always sends a crew when Gilbert plays Governors. <laughs> You always see Mario Lopez and Maria Menounos outside Gilbert's gigs at Governor's. <laughs> the best part of the biggest night in show business. <laughs> it's up there with the Oscars. Uh, what do you, you know, I was thinking, like, you know, we know all these references to people. Like, growing up, do you think you watched more TV than the average kid? Or, yeah. or, did, or did we just, like, absorb it more because we were fans of comedy? I, like, why do we know all that stuff? I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. Do you know. remember learning, like, how, what everything Jackie Vernon did? Yeah, yes. <laughs> or all the lines here's, to Casablanca? Here's some slides from my vacation. <laughs> here's... Here's Manuel leading up. <laughs> that used to be late night entertainment. You know, did you ever see the Tonight Show? There's an old clip oh, yeah. on uh, Johnny yeah. Carson where it's George Goble and Dean Martin and Bob Hope. They're all on the day. Oh, and, yes. And Dean Martin's smoking a cigarette. And, and he keeps putting and it George out. George Goble has to drink. Yeah. And he keeps yeah. putting it out. <laughs> uh, that's, that was fun. Again, yeah. And Johnny has that enormous, like, tie, that, like, weird 70s tie. Oh, yes. That looks like yes. an ascot, and he's got a cigarette. <laughs> and everybody's banging Andy Dickinson. Oh, yeah. Except for George Coble. <laughs> I once had a woman driver pick me up from yeah. the airport in, right. some, in, in L.A. Right. And she told me that she was the illegitimate daughter of Frank Sinatra and Angie Dickinson. You're kidding me. Yeah. And she was, yeah. a, she was a limo yeah. driver. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's when you really been screwed. That's got to aggravate. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, between Angie Dickinson and Frank Sinatra, one of them out of a little. They thing. could buy the planet. <laughs> and you think oh they, man, especially being Sinatra, was she good looking? Uh, yeah, I, I think at well at the point I met. <laughs> she, she, she was seventy. <laughs> Still driving, yeah, I'm still driving a car. <laughs> but my ship is coming in any day now. <laughs> They're putting out a new greatest hits of my father, and I plan on getting some royalties out of that, some some of that summer wind money. <laughs> that really, no, you're right. That's got to make you want to kill somebody. Oh that. yeah. Like yeah. Well, I guess when Angie Dickinson had to abandon her. You have the kid, and then you just don't see her anymore. Or oh what? yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I. I get ten uh, percent of every song of Frank Sinatra <laughs> Jr. <laughs> I got in late on on the police woman. If police <laughs> if police woman would have went on one more year, I would have got back that money. <laughs> 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 oh, that's terrible. Uh, yeah, but you, you know, I'm sure L.A. is filled with... When I was on Howard once, a woman came in and said she was the Ill- illegitimate daughter of Jerry Lewis. <laughs> and Jerry won't talk to her. And a lot of times you go, okay, this person's BSing. Yeah. Gilbert, she walked in, she looked like Jerry Lewis. Oh, God. There was no doubt. And, and, and it and, looked like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> and when, when you have sex with her, when she orgasms, <laughs> Hi, Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very disconcerting. 
<laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen pictures of her. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Choir. Yeah, she looks like Jerry Lewis. And you go, oh my God, mm, that's man. that's Jerry Lewis in a skirt. Right. That's really. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, that, and you know the, the showgirl, however, her mother's probably some beautiful showgirl, and she doesn't get her look. She gets Jerry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I guess if you're gonna try to get money out of it, you'd rather look like Jerry. Yeah. He's like, look, uh, like if I was if I was a jury, just because she looked like Jerry Lewis, I'd give her money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take whatever. <laughs> this is horrible. Take whatever you want. But but then the the lawyer could argue, no, it's the daughter of Sammy Petrillo. <laughs> <laughs> That's as, that's as, that is as obscure as a reference gets. <laughs> and then, now you should have said the you should have said that woman who drove you. You should have said I heard I heard you were actually uh, uh, what's his face uh, 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 who's who's Sinatra's main guy. Um, that was always with him. Jilly. 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 No, Jilly. I you probably, she's probably Jilly Rizzo's kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Sammy Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but can you imagine being a woman of about 30 years old and you look like Jerry Lewis? Yeah. And you can't, oh. and, and you're his kid, but you can't get his money. Like, it's the worst of every world. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. you look like Jerry Lewis, and he, he refuses to see her, supposedly. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and, and if you were, like I was joking about her having sex, but imagine being <laughs> a guy and you go in there, oh, oh, gee, I'm having sex with Jerry Lewis. This it doesn't work. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, this is a problem. You, uh, you recede like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, once again, I have to say, we're going to come back with Gilbert to finish out the hour, but this, that rolls right. Of course, Sammy Petrillo leads us right into <laughs> Caroline's on Broadway, August 14th, tomorrow, August 30th, 31st, and September 1st, Improv West Palm Beach. GilbertGodfrey.com is the place to go if you're in show business. Uh, <laughs> Uh, back with the rest of the hour with Gilbert. Last few minutes of the hour with Gilbert Godfrey. The Artie Lag Show. And Gilbert just told me that. I didn't realize this. Our friend Tracy Morgan has a shark tank. Yeah, they said. And you said that's a good that's a good idea. It's a good investment because shark tanks have a great resale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I, I, his, his Jew accountant is there going, well, I, uh, I would say invest most of your money in a shark tank. Uh, of course... Because, you know, the safest investment <laughs> is not so much the tax-free bond. <laughs> where, where the big money is, is a shark tank. Yeah. And uh, I, could, I could get you set up with a shark tank. <laughs> At your position, your uh, financial... I could get you a hammerhead shark <laughs> and a great white. And that's really, it just goes up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Good news, honey. Iris says we could have a bull shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we going next year. We gonna get us a tiger shark. <laughs> that just adds to the investment. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ira the account is laughing on. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, my fee, my fee will be doubled this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you, you should you should invest wisely. You yeah. Invest so wisely. I I I think uh, <laughs> I I think he'll die a rich man. Yeah. If he dies in the next five. <laughs> Minutes. <laughs> well, Tracy used to have, and I love Tracy, but he's not, you're right, he made, maybe the spending, he used to, he bought a Lamborghini his first year on 30 Rock, a big yellow Lamborghini that he used to park right in front of where we did the Stern show, there was just, just big Lamborghini there. And, and, and you know, at the car showroom, all the salesmen would go, Oh my God, we got a Schwarz. <laughs> if you can sell it in the Lamborghini, this is one of the Lamborghini. <laughs> now you, Gilbert, you, 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 you are on the other end of that spectrum. You like to save your money. Uh, no, no, I just go crazy. <laughs> For instance, I mean, you, you spent a lot of money on Paisley shirts. Oh, like, yeah. I just... <laughs> Yeah, people are looking at this shirt, adjusting their TVs, going, something's wrong. Now, uh, yeah, so you you like to be a little more frugal. For, you, don't have, you don't have a shark tank. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, I have a minnow tank. I mean, yeah, even a, even a you regular... You have to build yourself up to the shark tank. Even a regular fish tank is a lame investment. Yeah. Like, just a regular oh, fish yes. tank. 
regular fish tanks are totally boring <laughs> and everything. And a, a shark tank, like, after, like, a minute, you go, okay, I could have just gone to the aquarium. Yeah, it is, it's exciting yeah. for two seconds. Yeah. And then you realize the maintenance of it. You got to get, oh, like, a shark God. expert. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta and then get... you got to have, when a shark dies, someone has to dive in <laughs> without getting eaten by the other shark. Yeah, here's the trick. Maybe to... the sharks just eat it. Yeah, maybe, ho that they hopefully. They they're dead. Here's the trick to getting the dead shark out, not getting eaten by the other shark. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the hammerhead died. Can you get in it? We try to get the great. We're gonna get the great white's attention. <laughs> See Tracy, come here, great white. Come here. Don't look over there. Don't look over there at that man getting. He's getting the the hammerhead. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a very exciting uh, month coming up of show business. It's going to be... Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> August 14th. August 14th, of course, Caroline's. August 30th, 31st, September 1st, Improv, West Palm Beach. But the big thing you have to go to is, of course, GilbertGottfried.com. And, and I read passages. I have a tape of a video of me reading passages of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> That's, uh, I would love to see that. Yeah, that's, that's all. Oh, and my my Twitter account. Yes. Which is a very costly hobby, by the way. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's at Real Gilbert. At Real Gilbert. Get a lawyer out for that one. The, <laughs> the Audio Live Show. We'll be back after these words.